Hello everybody! I am back with some more kits for you guys. These kits are for all my purple and lavender lovers out there. Um, I've got four of these kits available and they are, as usual, chock full of just crafty goodness. So um, there's lots of stuff you can do with these kits. Um, these ones, I'm not, I mean, you know, I would use them for journals, but there, there's so much other stuff that you can use these kits for. So anyhow, um, I did want to come and go through all the contents of these kits with you guys real quickly. The kits will be um, $30 and then $8 for shipping. They will ship priority. I'm going to turn on another light here. They will ship priority, and um, they'll ship on Tuesday, the 22nd. Um, I'm doing PayPal only, and I can do international shipping, but it's going to be $25 because of the weight of the package. Um, so I will leave that up to you all. I know that the shipping, international shipping, is, is just outrageous, but sometimes I have people, um, message me and, and are not happy that I don't offer these kits internationally. So for the few of you out there that may want to pick one of these up, um, that are international, I can do that. It is, like I said, $25 to ship the kit internationally. So, um, you can let me know if that's something you want to do. I will, um, once you decide you want to uh, purchase one of the kits, you um, just message me. You can message me at um, or email me at funkypaperjunkie at gmail.com. I'm going to leave my email address in the description box below. So you can um, send me an email and let me know what email address you want me to send your PayPal invoice to. Once I send that invoice, um, make sure you're watching your email closely because I'll only keep that invoice open for 30 minutes. Um, at that point, I'll move on to the next interested person. So um, if after 30 minutes the invoice doesn't get paid, then I will, I will um, move on. Um, if you have any questions, of course, you can always let me know. Um, in the email and what else I think that's it so $30 for the kit $8 for shipping 25 to ship internationally and uh, PayPal only so I'm just gonna go through we're gonna start with the papers and I'm just gonna um, I'm actually gonna turn this upside down so we can start with the larger papers first so we've got um, two sheets of vintage um, music sheet paper and it's already got that awesome um, yellowing from age which we all love so you'll get two sheets of that there's a um, ledger sheet you'll get some couple sheets of this real pretty um, botanical book page. Now these will be different from one kit to the next. The um, illustrations, of course, will be different from one kit to the next. So that one's got butterflies and moths. So you'll get two sheets of that. Um, there's three, or excuse me, two sheets of the um, this vintage dictionary page and these pages are on like an onion skin paper so they're really neat um, the texture of the paper is awesome and they coffee stain beautifully you guys um, so you get two sheets of those um, there's a couple of sheets of these uh, vintage children's dictionary pages You'll get an Edith Holden book page, and all of the pages um, or the illustrations have purple on them somewhere. 
So you'll get one of those. There's a couple of... Um... <laughs> I knew I was going to forget this. Uh, botanical forms. <laughs> Books from a botanical um, page... or. Pages from a botanical book. Oh my goodness. It's late, you guys. I'm so sorry. So you'll get a couple sheets of that. I've also got a couple of vintage sewing book pages. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm so sorry. You've got a couple of these um, vintage French dictionary pages and I've left them intact. I haven't cut them apart. And these are from an old um, vintage dictionary from 1908, you guys. So um, they're pretty old, already really yellowed. Super fun. You'll get um, some of this really pretty paper here that you can use to Either use it for pages or use it to make pockets out of this stuff. Coffee stain's really pretty, too. And then for your pattern papers, um, these are all cut at 6 by 6 So you can use these. If you're making a smaller journal, you can use them for pages in a journal. Or you can use these to construct pockets and envelopes and tags or tabs so you'll get one in that design there there's that one and some of these might vary the um, patterns on here might vary slightly and this is from the prima lavender collection these papers here And these next ones are not, but you, these are just cardstock. So you've got di three different shades. You've got a deep purple, lavender, and then like a grayish blue color there. And then you've got these other forms or papers here with different patterns. I need to try and hurry up because there's a lot of stuff in this kit and I don't want to have to do a second part for this. So hopefully I'll be able to get it all, get it all done in one video. Super, super cute um, paper collection. Okay, so there's your papers, okay? And then you're going to get... Some bags and you've got this um, the large craft sack here the um, craft glassine and then you'll get this size as well you've got the six by nine craft damask whoops and then you've got um, this size, the glassine. This is like a five by seven. There's that size there. That size there. And then you'll get two of the midget and two of the micro minis. You'll also get one of these craft colored bags with a geometric design on them. And then one of these uh, purple chevron candy bags. So those are your bags. And then you'll get some doilies. You'll get six doilies. There's three in the five inch. You've got 
three in the four inch. And then um, you're also gonna get some crepe paper. Um, I love using the crepe paper to cut flowers or hearts, little stars, just to you know use with my punches or my dice. My dies, excuse me. So you're gonna get two, and these are approximately six by six inches as well. So you've got two in the lavender, and this isn't like st the streamer crepe paper. It's it's a little heavier, or it's heavier than the streamer paper so you can you know make flowers and stuff with this and then you've got two in that color purple there I'm sorry I'm kind of stumbling over my words you guys like I said I'm a little tired <laughs> and then you're also going to get for all my friends that love to do the decoupage, you're going to get a couple of really pretty napkins. So there's this one here with these really pretty flowers. Isn't that gorgeous? Love that. Let's see. So there's that one there. And then there's this one here with the really pretty butterflies and the wisteria bush. And this is one of the larger napkins, so there's plenty, plenty to work with here. Okay, so there's those. And then, um, what else? We'll go into all of our little extras, like the ephemera and stuff. Let me grab all that. So you'll get this large, um, this is like a heavy duty vintage um, divider card. These are super fun. Love these. So you'll get one of those. You've got the large, the jumbo index card. There's a trifold time card. There's a standard time card. You got um, one of the vintage flash cards. You got a couple of guest checks. There's an alterations tag. There's one of the standard index cards there. You've got a um, library card and pocket. These coffee stain really, everything here takes the coffee staining really, really nicely, you guys. And then you've got um, one of the vintage Dewey Decimal cards from the shop. And then here's one that's blank. I thought she can do, um, you know, either some coffee staining or some, you can decoupage onto these really pretty. You'll get one of these windowed envelopes. And there's one of these here. These are fun to use um, as a tip out in the journals. And then here's one of these little mini coin envelopes. Lots of stuff, you guys. Tons of stuff. You get one of these little glassine envelopes here. You're going to get um, one of the tea bags that you can use. I've seen a lot of ladies who've been filling these with... Um, like doing little specimen pockets and using these to to um, do a pocket for tags and all kinds of fun stuff with these, you know, putting rose petals and just all kinds of fun stuff. So these are really neat. These are actually, I have these waiting to be listed in the shop. So a lot of this stuff um, is from the shop already. So... Um, you're going to get three file folders, and they're all um, 
just the manila. Again, these coffee stain really pretty and looks super cute with just, you know, some light stamping and stuff. So you'll get three of those. Um, what else? You're going to get one of these plain tags here. There's um, a vintage Rolodex card, and this one's already, you know, got the yellowing going on just from age. And then here's another one, but this one's got the print on it. You'll get some of the tags from the shop. So there's one in this style here. And then the white. You'll get one of these little metal rim tags. There's um, a couple of vintage playing cards. There's this old numbered card from um, an old card game from 1901. And then you've got this one. And this one's really pretty coordinates with the colors of the kit. And then I've got a couple of dress form die cuts for you guys. These are so fun to use too. I've cut out some tabs for you all. And again, these are just all in the manila card. So there's these. And then you've got these little tags here that you can use to embellish your pages. You could just do some light stamping or handwrite on those. So there's those three of those. We've got two of these more oval ones. There's two of these smaller ones here and then two of the rounds. So super fun. You've got some vintage tickets. So you'll get two of the $1 tickets. There's four of the 35 cents. So you get two in the green. And two in the, um, these are like, they were probably white at one point, but they've been so aged they're so old so you'll get two of those and then there's two in the 25 cent as well and then you get four of the white tickets so there's those and then you'll get also um two swatches of cheesecloth you've got some in this lavender color here and it's you, you get plenty as you all know um and it, it this unfolds yet again so um as you all know you don't need a whole lot of cheesecloth when you use it so you'll get that color there and then there's this one it's kind of like a purpley mauve color super pretty and again you get you get plenty and it unfolds yet again as well so you'll get that. You've got some lavender tulle. There's four feet of lavender tulle here for you guys. Sorry, there's little paper bits on there. So you get four feet of that. And then you get this really, really pretty fabric. And there's plenty here. It's pretty thin. It's kind of sheer. Um, so this would make great pockets, um, but it is so, so pretty. I'm just going to spread it out here so you guys can see the patterns. But it's got purples and greens, pinks, perfect, perfect um, color combination for these papers, the paper line. So... Um, really, really pretty fabric. I think it's, um, gosh, let me measure it for you really quickly. Hang on one second. 
I had the measurements memorized and then I forgot them. Sorry guys. Okay, so um, it's 19 inches by 30 inches. So there's there's plenty here for you guys to work with. You can use this to cover your journal as well, but you'll have to back it just to give it some stability. So you probably want to back it with some interfacing or something before you try to cover a journal with it. But really, really pretty fabric love this stuff so you'll get that and then i've got tons of trims and fibers and ribbons for you guys here so you'll get a foot of the lavender pom-pom trim i've got two yards so there's six yards total in seam binding and this is the color collection here so you've got two yards in this color here, and it's kind of like a gray, grayish blue. There's two yards in the purple, and two yards in the lavender. We've got several different kinds of laces here. So there's a yard, there's a yard of this one here. And then the rest of them are a foot, 12 inches of the rest of these. So there's that one, there's this one here. That one. And then this one here. These are great to add tabs to your page ends or line pockets. Super pretty. And there's plenty for you there. And then you're also going to get um, a yard of coffee stained and hand frayed seam binding. And it's half an inch in width. So there's a yard of that here. I think it's a yard. Let me double check. I'm sorry, guys. Nope. It's four and a half feet. So you get more than a yard. Four and a half feet of the coffee stained seam binding. And then you'll get a foot of this really pretty iridescent pearl trim and then this is coming to the shop soon I love this stuff so you've got a yard that look at the colors in that how pretty isn't that so beautiful I love it I love all the little pom-poms throughout and then just all the eyelash trim there. And it's got some sparkle to it too. Beautiful stuff. So you'll get that. You'll get some of this pretty lavender silky ribbon here. <clears throat> Tons of different eyelash trims, you guys. Beautiful fibers. So there's the pink. You'll get the variegated purples. I carry all of these in the shop, you guys. This one's the orchid. And then we've got this ladder trim here. And it's just got all kinds of different colors. Pinks, lavenders, purples, blue, gray. Super, super pretty. <clears throat> so that's it for your trims and then you're going to get a couple of strips of rosettes so there's 
this strip of the gray. I'm telling you, there's so much stuff in this kit. This strip in the purple. You're going to get this um, larger white, or this is actually like an ivory rosette here. Chiffon rosette. You're going to get this little bunch of roses, paper roses. So you've got some purple, lavender, and then the ivory. Two of each. Super pretty. You'll get this really pretty bead spray in lavender. It's kind of not showing up because everything behind it. So there's that. And then um, I've made another little friendship pin pack for you guys. So you've got a bunch of little seed beads and safety pins in there. <laughs> I'm obsessed with those right now. And then um, your button collection. So you've got purples, lavenders, gold, couple of gold, um, white one, ivory. So plenty of little buttons there for you. And then you've got a bunch of little like metals. Let me get a bowl to put these in really quickly so that you guys can see everything. Just shake it all out in here. So you'll get one of the metal book plates. You've got a couple of these Tim Holtz um, metal clips. There's a purple um, little mini clothespin. You've got one of these safety pins, like the kilt pins in the antique bronze. Super fun. Love these. And then you've got these metal book corners here. These are new. Well, they're not listed yet, but these are coming to the shop as well. So you'll get four of those metal book corners. There's, um, you've got, how many? Let's see. Four of the gold paper clips, four of the gold bulb pins, and then four of the gold eyelets. And that is the kit, you guys. Super fun, right? All kinds of stuff. So, um, let me know if you guys are interested. Um, they go really fast, so... Um, like I said, if you guys are interested in them, make sure when you ask me to invoice you that you guys watch your email for the invoice so that you can pay it right away. Um, I don't want you guys to miss out on a kit. Um, you know, if you, if you request one, that's kind of a bummer for you, but anyhow, um, I hope you guys are, are all doing well. I've got more kits coming. I've been putting some more together. My next ones are going to be um, pink and shabby chic. So lots and lots of fun with those ones. I'm super excited about that. And then I've got other listings that are coming to the shop. I've got um, mini ephemera packs that are going to be coming. And just, you know, little starter packs, starter journal packs and... Um, junk journal kits and things of that nature um, coming to the shops. So um, I hope everybody's having a wonderful day and um, I will be talking to you guys soon. Okay. Um, have a great rest of your weekend, you guys. Okay. We'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye.